what's up y'all welcome back pitch side with parker for another arsenal women's review 1-1 draw with reading this was a very disappointing performance from arsenal i think the clearest symptom of all was that arsenal had been quarantining and had not probably trained much or uh, been able to play last week obviously with the whole mess of the players traveling to Dubai, coming back with some positive cases, which I didn't get a chance to make a video on, but basically my thoughts are that shame on the club, I would say, more so than the players. You know, the club allowed them to travel, and they defended them traveling, saying that it was for business purposes, although that may have been true, still very irresponsible in my book, given the way the whole pandemic is, and obviously it had a big knock-on effect on both the rest of the Arsenal team and the WSL. So yeah, that's basically my thoughts on that. I'll just get that out of the way. But yeah, so Jordan Nobbs missed the game with a uh, tight calf in this one. So I'll let you connect the dots on that. In any case, yeah, it was a very shifted starting 11. It just was not working at all for Arsenal, especially in the first half. Give up a goal in the fourth minute to Lauren Bruton, former gunner, assisted by Emma Mitchell, also former gunner. Uh, they were really up for it today against Arsenal. And Arsenal just didn't didn't come back with a whole lot. Miedema ended up getting a tap in right before halftime. Um, but honestly, it was against the run of play. And it was a big goal for Arsenal because I think without that, you could have easily saw this game ending 1-0. Joe Monomoro made three subs at halftime, brought on Leah Williamson, Jem Beatty, Beth Mead. Clearly, the plan from the first half did not work. And Arsenal did look better in the second half. I think especially between the 60th and 70th minute, there was a lot of pressure Miedema missed a couple of golden opportunities. There was a great flick from, I think it was Jill Roard, that was saved by the goalkeeper, and it was a very, very good save from close range. So Arsenal definitely did have chances to go ahead in the second half, uh, but they did not take them. And honestly, Reading played really, really well. I thought some of their attacking patterns of play, they put together much better sequences than Arsenal did. And defensively speaking, there were so many situations where they defended very well 1v1, and it was situations where you're used to seeing the Arsenal players beat defenders in the WSL, and they were up for the task. They dealt with Miedema exceptionally well, in my opinion. They did lose her on the goal, but you know that's bound to happen here and there with a poacher like her, especially with crosses coming in in the second half. There was a couple times where Miedema was getting frustrated because she really wanted a penalty call, and... Reading did a very good job of doing that kind of like 50-50 defending where it could be a foul, maybe it would be somewhere else in the field, but the ref's never really going to give it as a penalty. Um, so I was just very impressed. I mean, they've been a quality side all season, you know, outside of the top four plus Everton. They have definitely been one of the most dangerous teams, and they've put together a lot of really good performances. So a, a, certainly a well-deserved point from Reading. And it's very apparent that the fact that they got to play last week against Chelsea and Arsenal didn't had a huge effect on this game. And again, as I said at the beginning, Arsenal only have themselves to blame for that. Now, I'm sure like the rest of you, uh, Man United and Chelsea were playing at the same time. Huge matchup at the top of the table. Obviously, big implications for Arsenal as well. So I did have an eye on that game the whole time as well. Big win for Chelsea. Fran Kirby right now looks just immense. And I think with her resurgence um chelsea are starting to look really really scary united now have their first loss of the season chelsea still undefeated they're even on points but chelsea's played one less game and arsenal are three points behind both of them but arsenal have played the same amount of games as united and they've played one more than chelsea have so there is a decent amount of ground between arsenal and those two teams also city are nipping on the heels of arsenal only two points behind um, they won 7-0 this morning as well, so yeah, and, and they do have a game in hand on Arsenal as well. And for a moment, that Chelsea United game, after Lauren James scored the equalizer, which, wow, beauty of a goal, by the way, the the turn, the 1-2, the finish was just, oh, it was just special. She is a quality, quality player. It looked like it could have potentially ended as a draw, um, which obviously would have been huge for Manchester United. But in the end, Chelsea did get the win in that game. And under other circumstances, that would have been a great result, actually, for Arsenal because it closes the gap with United and evens um, things at the top of the table. Yes, Chelsea had that game in hand. I would say a draw or a Chelsea win could have been good for Arsenal. 
but that was only if Arsenal picked up the three points against Reading, which they did not. Big credit to Kelly Chambers and Reading. They've done a phenomenal job. They, they've just, they've been really, really good this season, and it was true again today. Arsenal was not the better team, and it was really just that simple. I think in that sense, they almost got lucky to get away with a point, although they did have chances to win the game in the second half. Also, best wishes to Jess Fishlock, who went down with a, what looked like a pretty bad head injury. She tried to keep playing and then eventually took herself off the field, which I've spoken about before. If you want to look at one of my other Arsenal reviews, the way that they deal with head injuries is just so backwards to me and needs to change very, very soon. And also, shout out to, I believe her name was Liner, the defender who got the knee injury towards the end of the match. Looked really, really bad. So best wishes to her as well. Very unfortunate to see that, obviously, anytime a player gets a serious injury like that. But again, credit to Reading. Arsenal not good enough, and it ends as a 1-1 draw. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you're new around here, I am doing a giveaway right now. So go check out my giveaway video. Chance to win two $25 Visa gift cards in that. So all the details are in a separate video. I'll link it. Um, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. We're gaining, we're continuing to gain momentum, um, and I love having y'all around here. If you're an Arsenal fan, there will definitely be a lot more Arsenal content, so you should definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But yep, yeah, that's all for now. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.